One of the most effective and important features in setting up your bot on Minichat is the main menu. Today, we'll be setting up the main menu for an e-commerce brand called Fletcher Goods. Since this page focuses on e-commerce, we're going to use the main menu as a directory where subscribers can browse products, look up order status, and get additional info or contact a member of the staff. For your own business, you can use the main menu for all sorts of use cases, linking to a website, providing a contact option that triggers a help message, showing off a list of services, and many alternatives. Hopefully you'll find inspiration today to find a solution that fits your business. So to get started, if you're on the Minichat dashboard, you want to follow my lead here and navigate to the main menu setup screen. There's a couple of things you should know about the main menu. First, the main menu is limited to three menu items max for pro accounts and two menu items for free accounts. It's one of the perks of a pro account. If you'd like to offer more options, you can do that through submenus, and each main menu item can feature five submenus. So if we wanted to tag a user for clicking a certain main menu option, or even trigger a zap from Zapier, we can do that here. We are going to be creating three menu items, the first of which we'll call Browse Products, which will link to a flow that shows off Fletcher Goods' hottest products. If the user hasn't already made a purchase, a button at the end of that flow will direct subscribers to visit the rest of Fletcher Goods' product lineup. Next up is Order Inquiry. A lot of Minichat users have rigged it up so that their subscribers can actually look up order status directly in Messenger. I'm not that smart, nor do I have enough time to make that happen today. So instead, we're going to direct users to Fletcher Goods' uh, order status page on their website. Finally, we'll add in an additional options menu. Um, from here, we're going to start with adding in two submenus. One, contact us, we'll notify the admins of this Minichat page via Messenger and email that this subscriber wants to speak one-on-one -on -one with a member of the team. Additionally, we're going to give users the option to unsubscribe from the bot. Um, whether or not you do this, it's entirely up to you. Now that we have finished creating the menu, let's make sure we press the Update Main Menu button and enable it. Our final step is seeing what it looks like from the subscriber's perspective. So we'll want to start a new conversation with the bot. From the desktop perspective, we see three lines on the left of the message box. And on Messenger Mobile, you can see the main menu under the message box. And from there, we're going to test each main menu item out to make sure they are functioning properly. That is it for setting up the main menu in Minichat. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or join our Minichat community page on Facebook. Have a great day.